So it's getting to that season where it might be sunny and warm during the day, but might get chilly in the evenings. It's that time of the year where it's very easy to catch a cold. And so it's really important that you're able to regulate your temperatures around these seasons. Today I'll be showing you my fall essential, the flannel shirt. Flannel shirts are very versatile and it can be worn in different settings and dressed down or up depending on the occasion. And so let's get into some of my fall essential, the flannel shirt. For me, one of the most annoying things about this season is when you're feeling hot but you can't take off any more clothes. And so a flannel shirt is super versatile. You can unbutton your shirt, you can roll your sleeves up, you can dress them casual, or you can dress them up. So we're gonna start things off with my favorite ombre check flannel shirt. This one has a bit of a grungy, Nirvana-esque vibe to him. I can wear him in a vintage inspired look or go super clean, keeping everything simple and dark, wearing black monotone colors. This shirt is from Five Brothers, a classic American workwear brand that's been around since the 1890s. The shirt comes with two front pockets. It's 100% cotton. It's a size medium, but it fits more like a small. The lightweight fabric has a slight nap to it, and so it keeps me warm when it's colder, but the fabric is thin enough that I can wear it even when it gets a little warmer by rolling up my sleeves. I like wearing this shirt safe for when I'm going to the movie theaters. I want something lightweight and something that I can put on when it gets cold in the theaters. Black, white, and brown coloring of the checks makes it quite easy for me to incorporate into my wardrobe, which is usually more black and white monotone. I like to style it with a dad hat to make it have a bit more Americana vintage-y look. Or sometimes I wear a cleaner hat for a trucker to make it even more street. Or sometimes I just keep it all black and just put on this shirt, keep it simple and clean. So for most of my outfits, I like to keep my clothes 100% cotton. And one of the reasons why that is, is because synthetic fabrics, although they do have some stretch to them and they're sweat wicking, fast drying, a lot of the times it creates these funky odors. And what's good about these Lululemon shirts that I have here is that they either have two finishes. One of them is they use silver threads inside the fabric that doesn't make that odor, or they have these zinc processing but it just doesn't smell back in the days synthetic fabrics used to have these funky odors after you spent half a day in them odor free all day this one is a size extra small they fit kind of slim a bit lengthy and so they work well with my slimmer pants I really suggest these shirts if you're out on a lookout for something that's very basic and very functional. You can wear them in any kind of occasion. These shirts I can wear under a jacket and still feel comfortable with the mobility. They also work well with my shorts if I'm dressing a little bit more casual. One of the big advantages of synthetic materials compared to cotton is that they're very stain resistant. If you spill some coffees, they don't soak in the fabric. Basically one of those pieces that if you find one that fits you, just grab them, you're not gonna regret them. You can wear them for a long time. So the sun goes down a bit earlier this part of the season and you just wanna stay warm. How can it go wrong with a vintage flannel shirt. Here I have one Dakota by Five Brothers. This one comes in a thicker fabric. It's almost like a blanket. Super cozy. This one is 100% cotton. The black and white combination also with the grays makes it very versatile to incorporate into my wardrobe which is predominantly black and white. Fit is super boxy, has a drop shoulder and this one comes in a size large. The shorter length of these boxier fit shirts makes it very easy for me to style with baggier pants and even slimmer pants as well. What I like about vintage workwear pieces is that a lot of the shirts and clothing are actually functional. Like this one here, it has big pockets where you can actually fit stuff in. Some of the more fashion stylish pieces, they might have pockets, but they're actually not very functional because they might be too small or they're like placed really weirdly. These ones actually are very functional. I like styling this shirt with my tapered jeans and some vans and have like that kind of street skater-ish vibe to them, but keeping it clean using monotone colors throughout my outfit. I also like styling with my Grimici jam pants that are a bit more baggier 
this one is a pigment dye colorway and just give it a pretty much all around cozy vibe look to him with my black Air Force One. The headwear, sometimes I go with a dad hat or a sharper looking hat depending on how I feel. I also style them with my Dickies 894 pants. These are the skater line so they're a little bit slimmer than the regular 87 boards and they have a little bit more stretch to them. One of the challenges of making an outfit is that it's a combination of different pieces, pants, hat, sneaker and so some of the pants that I showed you in this video I'll be introducing in the next one to talk a little bit more about the pants that I like to choose depending on my outfit and so please come back next week for some more content. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.